Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey here in Austin, Texas at uh, South First and West Stashney. Uh, it's nighttime this time. Well, it's getting nighttime earlier anyway. Uh, in the background is Maranatha, by the Maranatha singers. Uh, I'm getting ready to redo it. I'm getting ready to do a redoing lip sync of a redoing lip sync. I did it yesterday and I didn't like it. Well, I, I, it was some things now and I felt I could do better. And uh, uh, it is 75 degrees, feel kind of chilly, but I, I'm double layered. I'm double layered. Uh, and uh, I'm not stumbling and staggering over words, so I need to keep it that way. Today is uh, the. Uh, Oh, by the way, may I go cut myself off? I think I can remember the two thoughts though. First of all, I need to time myself. Secondly, on my original thought, today is March the 25th, 2023. Wow. Okay, uh, now I need to time myself, so it's about, hold up. I'd rather do that on the phone on, than on a watch with hands, 839. So 839, 849, 859, and uh, 909 will be 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to keep it within that frame so I can have all this on one video. When it get up into 40 and plus minutes, it's split up in two videos. But I need to learn how to uh, John. The word Maranatha, I need to learn how to join, join videos, and I'll probably learn that later on, on, on YouTube editor, or somebody that know how to do it. Uh, Maranatha means, oh Lord, come. Oh Lord, come back, return, you know, oh Lord, come. Okay, uh, I did me some errands today. But oh, by the way, I made some more signs to the song. Savior, right there. And uh, Jesus Christ, Christ is on the back of that. And forevermore. But uh, I told a friend I'm not gonna delete the old version, but I think I have to because this is a complete version. I will want to complete. I want to complete anything in life, you know? Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, but I'm gonna basically try to say the same things I said, or at least some of the same things I said in that video that I'm, I plan to delete. Okay, uh, I believe I got the ca camp card on night vision. Okay, uh, the song was released in 1989 by Maranatha Music. By the way, Maranatha, the Maranatha singers originated like in the early 70s uh, when Calvary Chapel wanted to promote the music, Jesus music, then that was becoming popular. Old hymns into a modern sound and so forth. Something like that, you know. Uh, I like the old hymns too, you know. Uh, Okay, uh, this, 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 this woman and man leading the song is very talented. The background is okay and the music is, wow, out of sight. Uh, the song starts with Jesus Christ will return in the twinkling of an eye. And uh, twinkling means blinking. Just just as fast as a human can blink your eye, I believe just as fast as we can blink our eye one time, the rapture and caught up in the clouds and the graves open and dead believers given a glorified body and caught up there. Well, they're gonna be, that gonna happen first. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with his shout and with the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain 
should be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And uh, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's 1 Thessalonians uh, 4, 16 to 18. But the thought begins at verse 13, where he tells them, don't be sorrowful over those that sleep. Sleep means they died as believers. And, uh, and uh, don't be sorrowful them. Don't be sorrowful as if we have no hope. Christians have the hope of eternal life with Christ. Since Christ rose from the dead, everybody that believes in him will rise from the dead one day. So Paul said that, don't be sorrowful as those that have no hope. For them which have fallen asleep in Christ shall God bring with us. I believe that's not verbatim, but it's the gist. Uh, those who have no hope are those who don't know God through faith in Christ and Jesus. When they die, they got to go to the judgment and go to hell forever. But they don't, don't nobody have to do that, you know. And, uh, 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 anyway, uh, uh, let me move on here. Uh, but anyway, I'm confident y'all with these words and the words of the rapture and with this beautiful melodious song about that great event, which I feel is the next major event on God's agenda, you know, pertaining to uh, his plan. Of course, he has other plans going on, you know. He's saving people today, all who will come to him through faith in Christ, death and resurrection, payment for their sins with his blood. And uh, he got he got plans concerning Israel. He's gonna restore them and the, restore the whole nation spiritually in the tribulation. Right now they're going through some frictions. And uh, let us pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let us pray for the people in the Ukraine war and that there will, it will be, that will be peace. And that those souls on both sides, souls rest in peace, that they'll find God. Let us pray for the people in Malari. The mudslides. And uh, I saw some news clips on that. And uh, let us pray for the people in California going through severe weather, too much snow, too much flooding, and so forth. Uh, and uh, let us pray for people, earthquake victims that are still alive that this place. And pray for all, I pray for all the people that lost their souls, that they rest in peace. Pray that they will save through faith in Christ. You know, and uh, uh, it's a lot of things going on in the world. There's wars and rumors of war. And Christ said that's gonna characterize the ending, end times. And it's and and it's and it's uh, earthquakes going on. That you know, and, and, and these things have always occurred. But Christ put the emphasis on when you see, when you see the conversion of them all at sim simultaneously at the same time, that is, uh, you, you know it is near. You know, it is near. You know, I don't know all the ramifications behind burdens, and giving birth and all that. You know, women know more about that than me. But since Christ told us about it, he told men and women about that. So we can have knowledge of things through listening to doctors, or through putting two and two together. And you know, and, and when I and, and they say when a woman is near labor, a lot of birth pains come at one time. And, and Christ, so so you know, you, uh, you know, uh, I don't have to be a drunkard to know all about what overconsumption of liquor would do. I don't even like the taste of it. You know, but I know to make somebody more bold than they would when they were sold sober, and, and do and, and, and help them do bad things. You know, uh, that they may not normally do, and help them drive when they're drunk, and a lot of them make it back safely. You know, and, but some of them get manslaughter cases and so forth. But, but I don't have to be a drunkard to know all that. You know, but but let me get back to this here. A lot of things we can know and we don't have to experience. That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, the MacArthur Bible, study Bible, says of the twinkling of an eye. Oh, a lot of signs of conversion 
at the same time. That's why the nearness of Christ could be near. But I don't know the date nor the hour. You know what I'm saying? God had Noah to build a boat because he said a flood would come and destroy the whole world. And Noah was building it for 120 years. I don't think it take that long to build a boat, but then it may have did. Because that was a big boat. But uh, God stretched that time out because God talks about his long suffering, his patience in the days of Noah, while the ark was prepared, wherein that is few was saved. This ain't so. Noah's wife and his three sons' wives, God, God used them to preserve the human race after the flood. And Christ said it's going to be that same way in the days when he get ready to come back there. The two main things that were prominent that was, that's bad in Noah's day, number one, the earth was filled with violence, and number two, corrupt. Uh, anyway, uh, and we definitely see that, you know, today. Anyway, uh, uh, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, First, First Corinthians 15, uh, 52 says, this was Paul's way of showing how brief the moment would be. The Greek word for twinkling refers to any rapid movement, since the eye can move more rapidly than any other part of the visible bodies, our visible bodies. This seems to well illustrate, illustrate the sudden transformation of raptured believers. Raptures mean caught up, seized, seized, taken up, you know, disappearing. That's what rapture means. Uh, but the word itself is not in the Bible, but when, when people have dug into the Greek, and I read some of those explanations, teachings, uh, uh, it's a word that's R-A-P something, rap two, rap two, uh, something like that. Uh, I need to look that up and perpetuate it in my notes. Uh, 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 so that's closest to it. But the word rap to itself is not in there, but the thought is in there. Okay, uh, when they say Christ will return as a thief in the night, it don't mean, it doesn't mean the evil connotated with a thief, it means uh, he's used, the Bible using an analogy to show that just like people is not are not prepared for a thief, because he don't announce when he's gonna come. He don't say, I'm finna come rob you, I'm finna, I'm finna come steal from you. I'm going to, at such and such time, steal from your house. Thief don't do that, he just go do it. And and uh, if he think it's everything is working in his favor to get away with it. And uh, Christ will come unexpectedly to unbelievers who are not ready. As a thief comes unexpectedly to somebody they stealing from in this life. Okay, uh, but, but the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 4, but ye, are you, brethren, are not in darkness that that they should overtake you as a thief. Brethren is a term that refers to believers in Christ, you know. Uh, okay, uh, I believe it refers to the male, you know, males, but it probably encompassed women believers too, you know. Uh, I can clarify that in the future and when I learn more on that. Okay, uh, uh, I've been reading a lot of, I've been looking on YouTube at a lot of rapture dreams. Wow, a lot of people having them. It seems like more women are having them than males. And uh, uh, God says in the last days, he will pour out his spirit on our flesh and your young men and women and old men have dreams and visions. Uh, that's Acts chapter two, uh, verse, Verse 17, I believe. Yeah, 17, I believe. And uh, the last days began when Christ died for our sins. And it will continue 
until the rapture. Really, also including the seven year tribulation. That is really the last days, because it's the last seven years before uh, of time, before eternity begins. And uh, a world, world leader will come and rule the world at that time. And with all the problems up in the world today, it seems like the world is ripe, ripe for somebody to step in the vacuum and, 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 and with, with, peop, with people believing he can solve all the world's problems. And, uh, but uh, in the meantime, let us believers occupy till he come and, uh, and, and get the word out, you know. And uh, he is coming. And to be ready, we must all be born again. That is, accept Christ by faith in uh, set Christ by faith in his death and burial and resurrection and bloodshed in the middle of all that for our sins. Okay, uh, oh, let me see. Let me see if I done went 30 minutes yet. I'm on 59, I'm on 54, so I got, I got till 8 I got a little bit of time left to, before I, I, you know what, I better hurry up and get to my errands and I went to store today and bought some things, you know, some groceries. Uh, and, uh, oh, I lost my, I lost my, uh, I lost my little, little, little seat, so I ordered another one from Amazon. I ordered it today on the 25th and it's coming on the 28th, that's pretty good. So I, I'm glad I didn't get rid of that. It stick up a little bit too far out of my bag, but it's, it'll do, it'll suffice for uh, a meantime. I'm glad, I, I thought, I start, I start, I almost threw it away. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else I feel like, oh, my, my notes on the ground. I was writing on, I'm gonna have to hurry up and get, so I can fit this three or four minute song in. Okay, uh, I was writing down some stuff that I want to not forget. Uh, I'm painting my, I forgot that. I'm painting my dark blue basket with white out. I'm still working on it. I just bought some more white out yesterday. Uh, white out is, wow. <laughs> that white out is like, you know, I want contrast, I want contrast, our colors to stick out and it's colors to be bright and so forth. I don't mind a few dark colors. Okay, uh, I think I, I think I just, but, oh, my doctor said yesterday that I don't have to take a COVID test every day. And I, I, I got some extra ones they had in there and about four of them a nurse gave me. I might, <laughs> I might take one tonight cause I've been having a lot of congestion today, but I'm taking, Allergy pills, you know, but I, I might. I, I, I skipped yesterday, but I might take one. You know, it ain't gonna hurt, you know. But the doctor said just wait till I'm feeling bad before I do that. I ain't got Somebody suggested I can maybe take a test once a week. Uh, I haven't wore this shirt, t-shirt I got on in a minute. I got my lights on. Let me, let me see how much time. Oh, I got. I got enough time, but I'm, I'm a, I don't want to push my luck. Uh, oh, my, my headphones. My headphones, uh, they used to have all of them flowers on it. We well, still do under that white out. You know, I didn't want to be, you know, I got my glasses all different colors and I didn't want a bunch of colors that close up on colors. I want to mix it up, you know, like, well, this I got solid on, it's solid. You know, I want to, you know, it, you know, the shorts could be uh, designed, but I just, sometimes I wear solid and solid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so that's why I had to do that, you know, cause it just looked, <laughs> it looked, it was colorful, but it looked too colorful, overdid. Man, I, I thought these cuckabugs, I thought them cuckabugs was some kind of <laughs> bugs or something. Let me get them off. They look like they don't want to come off. 
You know what? I can get them off. I'm, I'm on my time now. I'm trying to get all this video in one. <laughs> oh, thank God that it's not windy. I was. I ate first before I in there. And I ate first in there. And golden chick and a, a two-piece chicken. Uh, oh, my doctor gave me, and I, I was hoping it still be not windy out here. My doctor gave me a pill that prevents, prevents, uh, prevents, a pill that prevents diabetes. Cause I, I went up to five point, my, my blood that they draw, that, that they stuck me and got out of my uh, finger, it showed 5.9 on my A1C. That ain't, that ain't, I don't think that's official diabetes, but it's probably getting close. And before that, some months ago, 5.8, 5.7, before that, 5.5, I think a good while ago. I told my doctor, I said, it's inching on up. He said, yeah, and he told me about that, introduced that pill. I didn't even know they had such a pill. Anyway, I'm glad it don't, and it ain't giving me no headache. This seems too close. I got just enough time to do this song and to get it all in one frame, I believe. That's, that thing, it still seems seem too close.
Hopefully I still got it all on one video. All right, everybody, I'm gonna close the video. Jesus Christ is coming, please be ready. He is coming, could be in a day now, peace.